Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you are looking a way to make money through travel, this video is for you. I have been looking for this opportunity for years and I went to school and everything but life pushing me and right now I found this. I was really amazed because I've been trying to boost tourism not only from Vietnam but also the US and right now this will help you to open your mind to actually take a look of how you can make money through travel. So if you are a person who loves planning, offering, creating an unforgettable and unique experience not only for yourself but also for your family and friends and also whoever follow you on social media to help boost tourism not only in the US but also elsewhere in the world and help businesses to grow by making sales and bring more clients and raise awareness to them you will entering a financial independent right now by earning more commissions and money through travel now take a look at the video and learn more what you can do for the tourism industry Rate. Basically, we offer you a net 25% off your 
our retail rate and you can sell it up to our retail rate so you can make up to that 25 percent commission but that is not done online that is done directly through me so if you did not receive my contact information at the booth uh, you can find it in the program for the show there are dishes that speak volumes to your heartstrings in every single culture no matter where you go people always ask if i say it all i'm going to pop up in seattle they're like oh you got to go to this place and they're always talking about uh, the Michelin places. I want to go where the people go. I want to go and experience the food that regular people spend regular money because that's really where the lifeblood is. These Michelin places are great, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, sit me down with a soup, a sandwich, something that speaks to your culture, you know, so that I can get to know you a little bit better than your people. Yeah. All right, hi you guys. My name is Catherine, and I'm the founder for Taste Buzz Food Tours here in Las Vegas. Um, so we've been doing food tours here for eight years now, and what I, I was actually born and raised in Las Vegas, and you know, like Vegas is amazing because we have people come here for gambling, casinos, the nightlife, celebrity chef dining, I mean like we have so many amazing options I'm sure like you were able to visit today. Um, but there is a side of Las Vegas that a lot of people don't know about and that's the local side. And that's, I mean I grew up here. So we have charming neighborhoods, we have um, amazing local food that not too many people know about. And just like celebrity chef um, Chris Scott was saying that when you go visit a city you know, like it's amazing. You want to go see like those touristy things. You want to go see the Eiffel Tower. You want to go visit the Louvre when you go to Paris. But one thing that really makes an experience or like visiting a city memorable is going off the beaten path and discovering local. So I created Taste Buzz Food Tours for that. Um, I wanted to show off the local side of the city. So we combine local hotspots, um, food trucks, you get to try hole in the wall, you even get to try trendy restaurants, but we focus on supporting smaller local businesses. Um, that way, you know, like, and they're all five-star food, so it's it, everything, you know, it doesn't have to be celebrity chef to be five-star dining, you know, some of the best foods are like street food, so we take you to like food trucks, you get to try mom and pop restaurants, and you get to try, um, you know, trendy restaurants all in one. Anyway, my time is almost up, so um, that's a real authentic experience here in Las Vegas. I think it's truly unique. There's nothing else in Las Vegas that's like it. We do offer um, commissions if you guys are interested. Like, um, anyway, as I was saying, like it's a truly authentic, memorable experience for a lot of people that you don't really get to, that most people and visitors don't get to experience, so. You have a team available to assist you any day that any time you need. So as you can see, we have something for everyone. We can match any genre of performance you're looking for in every budget. Anytime you need them, we're available seven days a week. 
So you have a customer that you don't know what to do with them, they've come here a hundred times, we will help guide you so they have the best curated experience here in Las Vegas. Um, we do groups of any size, all the way up to full buyouts if you have that higher end luxury client. This is my information, I'm always available. Thank you all for joining us. Hi everyone, welcome to Las Vegas. My name is Tara Inzar. I'm the Associate Director of Customer Experience for Area 15. So just gonna start off uh, with a little video for you. Showcase Area 15. Why more people are doing destination weddings than ever. 
Um, the growth rate is expected to be 11.8% next year in the number of weddings. The CDC just released their last report and said that more people are getting married than ever. Um, in Las Vegas, 1.6 million people come each year, come here each year for a wedding, not to all get married, but also their family and friends that attend weddings with people. So it's 1.6 million visitors, and they spend about $7 billion each year. So that's commissionable sales that you guys could access. Um, we, uh, the Clark County Clerk's Office, did a survey of the wedding couples that have come here to find out what they like and what they don't like. 97, over 97% 97 of our couples said they had a wonderful, five out of five experience, a wonderful experience. 67% um, recommend to family and friends. 83% say that it was a great value. Um, why do they come here? The ease of getting a license. Our office is open 8 a.m. to midnight, 365 days a year. That makes it easy. Um, the wedding can be their way. Uh, there's a variety of venues, and over half had a reception. So of those, of those 75,000 couples that came here each year, half had a reception. And over half brought guests, up to 100, 120 guests per uh, couple. So 93%, I know there's a lot of statistics, but 93% um, said that their Vegas wedding experience met or exceeded their expectations, with 44% saying it significantly exceeded their expectations. 55%, um, this is something to keep in mind, 55% are extremely likely to come back for an anniversary. So not only do you sell it one time, you sell it multiple times. And 50% have an income of $100,000 or above. So who is interested in selling weddings to Las Vegas? Raise your hand. I think we got a couple more. Um, how do you do that? So the clerk's office has a one sheet on weddings at Vegas. Uh, my staff, Carl and Paula, are over there, and you can give your card to them if I'm not here because I have a doctor's appointment probably after. Um, we have a one sheet that we developed how to get married in Las Vegas. So you can take down the one sheet, send it out on your social media, on your email con contacts, and it almost always generates leads. From those leads, then you can make an affiliation with the chapel or a resort. One or two is what I would advise, so that you can simplify it for yourself. All of them pay commission, so the ones that you want to work with pay commission. But then once you get the lead, you can turn it over to the chapel. They have built-in wedding planners, so you don't have to do anything other than give them the lead and make sure that they know that you're affiliated with it. You can also get commissionable sales on all the auxiliary things. When people come for a wedding, they bring their family and friends, they stay in hotels, they eat in the restaurants, they go to Miago. All of those places pay commissions. Um, so you would get commissions on all those things in, included. The wedding is the chapel, but then you would also get all the commissions. Oh, no, I'm sorry. And I'll go over some of the resources you have for commissionable listing at the end of this presentation for you as well. Oh, yeah, that's it. Caesar's Entertainment. Um, so I just want to say one more time, thank you all for being here. I can speak on behalf of Caesar's Entertainment saying we're honored to have you all here. It's definitely an honor for us. And um, to some of us, I, I mentioned the things that I'm going to talk about. So if it sounds familiar, just put them my piece of information. Um, okay, thank you. Um, so we are obviously focusing on Las Vegas here, but just so you know, we have a lot of properties all over the United States. It's not only in Las Vegas. And if you take one thing away from my presentation today, I want this to be that we, we want to help you sell our property, right? That's how we all make money. Um, we do have a website called caesarstravelpartners.com. Again, caesarstravelpartners.com. You can register on there. It's going to ask for your IANA number. And um, from there, you can, we have a ton of content on there. We also have a newsletter that's being sent out so you know what's new with our properties. And of course, it's commissionable. So our Las Vegas properties, we have nine properties. You may or may not know all of them, um, but I'm going to be speaking briefly about them all. The beauty of our properties, I think, is really the variety of them. We have something for every guest. If someone's more budget, like 
some properties are less expensive, obviously, right? So um, we have some people who are budget conscious, like obviously we have those properties and then something more luxurious as well. And they're all right next to each other. So all very close, walking distance. And that people love that. People love not having to take a cab or just kind of walk because everything is so close. Caesar's Palace, um, I'm speaking past because I don't understand. Um, so Caesar's Palace um, was new here. We have completely renovated one of our towers. So the Forum Tower is completely renovated and it's now called the Colosseum Tower. So bring your one other there. We also have a new steakhouse called Peter and Booger. This was very popular in New York. It was very exclusive back in the day. So we are very happy that we have brought it on board at Caesar's Palace. And then Palanic Hollywood. Um, now you might know this already, but um, their theater was before was named Zappos, and now we renamed that to Bach Theater. Some of the upcoming performances there would include like Shania Twain, Amanda Lambert, um, we have Chris Angel there. Um, but also, we've opened a new um, a new bar at Planet Hollywood. It's called the Light Bar, and it has a lot of crystals. It's very beautiful. And here at Paris, obviously, you know that we have a new tower called the Versailles Tower. Technically, we kind of took it from Porsche. Um, and also we are building currently a bridge that's going to be going from Paris to Versailles Tower. The rooms are absolutely stunning. You can see here on the pictures, amazing, and they have the best view that I've ever seen. And Horseshoe Las Vegas, um, you might recall, this is actually in Paris. We renamed it to Horseshoe, we rebranded the property. Uh, Horseshoe is really a legendary casino brand throughout the United States, so we were happy to bring, in, to bring it here in Las Vegas. And then in Paris, we recently um, did, we recently finished a facelift at the main entrance, and we also have a new bar there called the Lounge Bar. I do have a picture here of the Ramsey Kitchen restaurant. I have to say, we were actually talking about this earlier today, but it is an amazing fine dining restaurant, and I recommend you try it when you come back next time. Flamingo, my favorite property, not only because I like pink and pink, but it's it's just such a affordable property, especially when people come with their families, right? Um, what's new there? We're going to have a new venue with Lisa Vanderpump, the celebrity. She's she's very popular with her live shows, but um, it's going to be called Pinkies, and apparently that's her nickname. I didn't know that, but that's her nickname, and it's going to be absolutely stunning. She that's how she likes to do things, right? And it's going to have a conservatory basically the dining area will be inside and it will be added to the facade of Flamingo. So I'm very excited to see how that turns out. And I also wanted to mention Link. What's new there, we're going to have the disco show. The disco show is with the same producers of Absent. So you can only use your imagination and just think how fun this is going to be. It's going to be paired with dining experience as well. And we're excited to see that. That's all I have, actually. I'm right on time. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. My name is David Brandolino with LasVegasTickets.com. I am the Director of Sales and Marketing. We just enjoyed our 30th year in business uh, in 2023. We offer a commissionable, 10% commissionable affiliate program for all travel agents. We currently uh, work with a little over 1,000 travel agents worldwide. Uh, and so what we offer is your own ticket portal with your own username and password, and you're able to log in and book all the tickets to any concert, sport, comedy, or local show. We're not just in Las Vegas, but we're nationwide uh, with a little spillover internationally with soccer and Wimbledon. We can do group, uh, group tickets, so with the NFL season, typically uh, we have travel agents who book in the area of 40 to 60 people that come out. If your network is in that arena, uh, when the season kicks off, you want to reach out to us with your number of group, and we'll go ahead and put together as best as possible the group to sit. Whether you know you want to uh, buy a suite or you know on a field level, we can put that together. Since we've been in business for 30 years, we do have connections all over the world. So if there's something that you don't see on our website, uh, there's a great uh, opportunity that we can connect you to that. Uh, events like the Kentucky Derby or the Masters. Um, with our affiliate program, we also provide you weekly email updates of all the events in Las Vegas. And then we also offer an Excel 
spreadsheet, a month to month, a month to month tab. So we understand that you're booking, you know, trips out in advance. So we give you notifications of all the months ahead of all the concerts and sports and comedy coming forward. We are sponsors. Uh, we're not just a reseller. Uh, we also buy our own inventory. So we are sponsors of the Aviators, the NASCAR, uh, UFC. So we purchase a lot of our own inventory. Uh, so we're able to get uh, really great prices. We do off offer customer support seven days a week. So we always have somebody in house to handle any issues with tickets. Um, our website to register is affiliates.lasvegastickets.com and you'll want to click on the silver program. It's free to join. If you have an online portal uh, that gets a lot of foot traffic, we do offer a white label program as well. And you can contact me uh, for my contact info on that website. I want to thank you very much for your time and have a great rest of your day. My name is Donald Contursi with Lip Smacking Foodie Tours. <laughs> Uh, show of hands, how many have heard of lip smacking? Awesome. So we started almost 10 years ago. Um, I started the company because I used to work in restaurants uh, all over Vegas, and restaurants are a huge thing for Vegas. People come for the shows, they come for the fine dining, the, the local places, and they're only here for a couple of days, and it's hard to get into some of the top restaurants these days. So I thought with my restaurant relationships, I could get them in, and it's developed into a five-star experience. We have about five different lip smacking tours every day. Uh, so you can be a solo traveler, you can book a private experience. We are one of the very few commissionable dining options in Las Vegas. Everybody has to eat, we all agree. When they come to Las Vegas, they have to sleep in the hotels and they have to find restaurants to dine at. Well, with their, your service and our relationship, we could get them into the top restaurants uh, to try the most popular dishes. Um, they take about two and a half hours. We have lip smacking tours all over Las Vegas. We have one at the Aria. You could add an option after for a helicopter flight over the Las Vegas Strip. Great for anniversaries or special occasions. We have a lip smacking tour for lunch that takes place at the Venetian Hotel as well as the Wynn Hotel. Uh, we have one over at the New Resorts World. Uh, we have a lip smacking boozy brunch option at Resorts World as well as dinner. Our ultimate steakhouse tour, which takes you to three top steakhouses with limousine transportation, is $999 per person. It's great for special occasions, 12% commissions. And then we have some local experiences where we've partnered up with the top restaurants downtown. Uh, these are very um, popular places that are hard to get reservations at because they are smaller in size. With our lip smacking tour, they go straight into the restaurant. They're seated at the best table in the house. They're served a lot of food. It's three to four signature dishes at each location. We accommodate all allergies and dietary restrictions, whether it's vegan, gluten-free, anything like this. And there's no waiting. They get the best dishes, and they get a city tour as they go from restaurant to restaurant. Uh, please do reach out. Um, I have some brochures that I'll wait at the end to give out a lip smacking brochure. If anybody is staying in Las Vegas for the next day or two, we can take you out as uh, early as this evening or tomorrow. I'll give you my business card as well as a travel advisor discount. 12% uh, commissions, whether it's one person or if it's a private tour. If you ever have any companies that are here for maybe CES or some of these trade shows, we could curate a private lip smacking tour um, exclusive to the groups, anywhere up from a small group all the way up to 100 people. Uh, so thank you guys very much for uh, recommending lip smacking foodie tours to your clients. Just be sure to tell them to come hungry. <laughs> Um, so, Sphere Las Vegas, I'm sure you guys have all seen this large, the world's largest beautiful structure throughout Las Vegas through our social media on the news. So we're very proud of this here in Las Vegas. It is the world's largest, I mentioned, it is also the world's largest LED screen on the exterior. So the exosphere is the um, largest LED screen in the world. The second largest LED screen is actually inside of the, is the screen that you see in the theater. Um, Sorry, not as familiar with these slides, but that's what it would look like. So it is a theater setup, not an arena. So it is, everyone's gonna be facing the massive screen. 16K resolution, um, they have to film, each of the contents uh, needs to be filmed with specialty cameras to give you that um, kind of 4D or 3D visual effects that you will see throughout. Um, 
postcard from Earth is the residence show that's there this year. They do have other shows planned for the future, so they're building that content as we speak. Um, so hopefully by the end of the year, early next year, we'll see some uh, a new show represented there as well. Um, when there's not a show in the venue, they will have um, concerts, uh, or sorry, I should say, when there isn't a concert in the venue or some buyout or specialty um, show, they will have the postcard play. And here's just a video showing kind of some of the technologies that are within the venue. So if there's a show that's at 4.30, the show really will start, a postcard will start at 5.30. You want to be seated by 5.30, but you have a full hour to interact with their AI technology, the holograms, or a 360 avatar builder that they have right there in the lobby. There's also food and beverage throughout the property as well, or throughout the experience. So. I'm David with National Park Express. We are thrilled that you're here. Um, we offer amazing day tours from Las Vegas out to Grand Canyon National Park, Bryce and Zion National Parks, Antelope Canyon, and Hoover Dam. So for, your, for you and your travelers that are here in Las Vegas, if you're here for a few days, it makes a wonderful addition to a Las Vegas trip. Uh, we go out and back each day to all of these locations, which are incredible. If you haven't been yet, please make some plans. Uh, we do invite agents and a guest at 50%. So anytime that you come on your own, please come back and plan a tour with us. For your guests, we offer 20% commission and, and truly to some of the most amazing places on Earth. The Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon National Park, Zion Valley, and Antelope Canyon. How many have been to Antelope? Raise your hand. Some of you, but not enough. You need to come back and go. It's just, just absolutely incredible. Um, we own our own vehicles. This is unique for the tour operators here in Las Vegas. We own and operate the, the newest, largest fleet in Las Vegas. We also do private groups. So if you have a group, uh, whether it's just around Las Vegas area or anywhere in the Southwest, we can accommodate small groups or large groups. We have up to 35 vehicles in our fleet. We do offer 20% commission. Um, we do have a travel agent uh, portal that you can sign up for. Many of you have already stopped by our booth and picked up our flyer, which I know you can't see from there. But I did place some on the back table, right back in the corner there. She's holding them up. So stop by and pick one up if you don't have one, or I'll have some with, some with me. And on the back, it shows you the link where you can sign up. Also, when you sign up, visitando los destinos más impresionantes del mundo, puede realmente hacer unas vacaciones inolvidables. Habla de español. Okay, so I will talk over this. So I didn't know it was in Spanish, but we do have different languages for our video. Um, anyway, our tours do go one way as well, and we can offer your travelers. Uh, the chance to go from Las Vegas out to the Grand Canyon and stay a night or two. On to Page, Arizona for Antelope and they can stay there. Bryce for Zion. So we can connect that transportation. So it's a great way to have people arrive in Las Vegas, stay a couple nights in Las Vegas, go out and see some of the parks and even stay overnight if they'd like, and then come back to Las Vegas. So it, it makes uh, a, a longer, better experience um, and a fantastic uh, trip for your travelers to add the city and the natural parks beauty that we have here. So that's kind of what this is saying. Uh, when you go to our travel agent portal, uh, we do have hotels there. We also have many of our partners' activities, shows, and other attractions. So you can see packages for Las Vegas and our outlying areas there. So please make sure that you have one of these um, and sign up, register, and we will be able to offer you um, your discounts, 
but more important, the commission for all of these packages, our tours, and even our partners' products on our, on our agent portal, so please do that. Thank you very much. Um, and now we have Melissa with Cirque du Soleil. Hi, everyone. Um, so nice to see you all again. Uh, I'm Melissa, I'm with Cirque du Soleil Entertainment Group um, here in Las Vegas. Uh, we do have six shows and then um, obviously our touring shows uh, around uh, the world. So once again, 30 years here in Las Vegas. Um, Let's see here. So Mystere opened 30 years ago on Christmas Day um, in 1993. Uh, so that was our first resident show here on the Strip. I do have a video to play for you all because I feel like the videos do a better job of selling it than I ever can. So let's see. If it, so here in Las Vegas, we do have six shows. Um, we have Mystere, as I said, was the first show. It opened in 1993 at Treasure Island. Then we have O, which is our only show that has an aquatic theme. That is at Bellagio, and it opened 25 years ago. Ka at MGM Grand just celebrated 19 years. Um, the Beatles Love is at Mirage, which is now Hard Rock International. We have Michael Jackson one at Mandalay Bay, and then our newest show, which is Mad Apple at New York, New York. So just highlighting Mad Apple, like I said, that is our newest show. It opened almost two years ago. For that show, it is really a party. So if you have guests that are coming to party, to gamble, to go to a nightclub, this is the show that you want to send them to beforehand. So when you walk in, the stage is a bar. There are two bars on the actual stage itself and then one around. Um, in addition to that, they do get to do meet and greets with all the artists if they get in early. Um, so they get in about 30 minutes. All of the artists are coming through the crowd. It is truly a, you know, a one of a kind experience. Um, all themed around New York since it's, since it's at New York, New York. Um, for all of our shows here in Las Vegas, we do have VIP experiences. So every show has a VIP experience that your guests can purchase. They come with artist meet and greet, commemorative photo, food and beverage. Some of the shows you get to go backstage. Others you might just be in a special VIP holding <laughs> area while you're learning all about the show. So I'll make sure to also forward that over to everyone. Um, Here's my information if you did not get to meet me at the booth. Um, but really quick, I'll also talk about our travel agent incentives. It is something that we are bringing back since the pandemic. So if you all want to reach out to me, um, if you didn't get my card, I'm able to send over our um, invitation to our ticketing portal. That will allow you to log in, purchase tickets directly for your guests. You will receive a commission for every ticket purchased. And not only are you um, booking the actual uh, show, the time, but you're also picking the seats for your guests. So many times it's just a category. So this is an actual way for you to pick out seats for your guests and send those tickets right over to them. So once again, here's my information. Please feel free to email me um, if you would like to participate in our travel agent program. activities and things to do in Las Vegas so I can help you navigate all of that so um, we have you met all these fine um, professionals that we work with but if you forget their names you can always just kind of look out for me my name is on our website um, and I'm gonna quickly go through some last-minute things for Las Vegas uh, so we have kind of some a few distinct neighborhoods primarily the strip which we're on right now home to iconic uh, mega resorts world-class dining shopping and entertainment we have downtown, a little bit north, just a few miles north, and then the Arts District, a kind of up-and-coming neighborhood, which some of our food tours have spoken about, um, in between downtown and the Strip. 
So downtown features the Vivo Vision Dome Canopy, the, free, uh, the Fremont Street experience, which is actually now bright enough to be seen throughout the day, so that we cast it with LEDs now. There's even a zip line that goes right down the center of it. But there's also different districts in the downtown area. So um, the East Fremont, kind of I like to call it our locally owned bars, restaurants, great nightlife down there. Uh, we have the Arts District, it is kind of an up and coming neighborhood that uh, really is booming with new businesses from uh, restaurants, antique shops, art galleries, as well as some brewery uh, tasting rooms and wine tasting rooms. Uh, and just kind of some new concepts that are coming down to the Arts District. Uh, so kind of something for everyone throughout Las Vegas. I wanted to make mention of the a couple of resorts that joined us this past December. We have Durango Resort, which is part of Station Casinos, that is located in the southwest part of the valley, about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on traffic, away from the center of the Las Vegas Strip. And then Fountain Blue Las Vegas, which is located um, on the north end of the Strip. Uh, that is, that they both opened up in December, and then Fountain Blue is part of the same Fountain Blue family as in Miami or South Beach. Some upcoming projects we have, you may have heard, we're gonna welcome the Oakland A's to Las Vegas. So the Tropicana is gonna be um, torn down, demolished to make room for this beautiful new state-of-the-art facility that is gonna be climate controlled. It is gonna kind of be reminiscent of the Sydney Opera House, I'd like to say. It's gonna be 33,000 seats, featuring an 18,000 square foot screen and scoreboard, if you will. And as you can see, many of the seats will have a view of the Las Vegas Strip uh, from your seat. You also may have heard that the Mirage was purchased by Hard Rock Hotels, and so they are going to be um, building a new guitar-shaped hotel right on the strip where the uh, volcano currently lies. The volcano is currently operating, it's still operating as the Mirage. However, um, they will have some announcements um, sometime this year of what renovations and things that they're gonna be doing to rebrand as the Hard Rock. November, we welcomed Formula One race back to Las Vegas, going right on, on the Las Vegas Strip. So here's some images of what that looked like this past year, right at the paddock or the pit zone, if you will. And then there's multiple different hospitality areas throughout. So tickets went on sale this week um, to the general public or on, on Monday. So <clears throat> if you have any clients that are looking to book a hospitality area, they also release a lot more of the general admission seating um, for guests, and you can do single day tickets as well. This year so we're really excited to welcome them back at the end of November um, and um, hopefully for the uh, uh, next year as well so a total of three years and hopefully beyond. TrackMyLasVegasBookings.com is your agent resource we have designed this specifically for you uh, to learn and earn your way to Las Vegas so you can register any bookings you make doesn't matter how you book it third party direct for some of the partners here with us today you can enter the booking in to earn 100 points per room night you can go back as far as two years, that's 24 months from the date of arrival to get, um, be, validate those points, okay? So if you have two years from the date of arrival, what you can do with those points is you can use it for hotel stays, show tickets, tours, and attractions so that you can better familiarize yourself with our services and offerings throughout Las Vegas. You can even pick up a Tumi bag like David has here in the front with, that's branded with Las Vegas. Um, he had a lot of points that he booked. <laughs> you can also, once you take our training courses, we have these new badges that are on the court, uh, on the site. So once you complete the course, you can download these badges and add those to your signatures. Uh, so we have our Vegas Champion, we have a new entertainment course that will be really soon, as well as a Romance and Weddings course. Uh, the, the training program is late. I wanted to make mention of our e-brochures. These um, cover many different topics, everything from family-friendly activities to outdoor adventures, the ultimate football weekend guide, shopping, golf, you name it, we got a, a brochure that you can download and send to your clients to help inspire them to book in advance with you so that you can earn commissions through our partners. Speaking of commissions, we have a link for the Commissionable Vegas page on this cell menu. So um, we have quick reference, we have insider tips which I'll go over, but the Commissionable Vegas page is very handy along with the group booking assistance, so 10 rooms or more. We can send one RFP out on your behalf to multiple hotels throughout Las Vegas. Even if you just want it to be five star hotels on the strip, three-star hotels off the strip without a casino, you give us the parameters and we can send one RFP out for you. Oh, and not to mention that we also do have travel industry discounts that are unlocked once you take the training courses. That is available on this um, site for you. The Commissionable Vegas page, you can sort by category or keyword search. So again, Lynn mentioned, you can find the Commissionable Partners for Weddings on this website. Uh, it tells you who to contact to book because you can't book directly through our website. We don't sell anything. 
keep that in mind. So if you book something on this website, you didn't, uh -huh, but you can contact them directly for the commission that they offer. We also have the hotel contact directory, which has a leisure sales contacts uh, available for you 24 hours a day. You're more than welcome to reach out to me to find a hotel leisure sales contact, but if I'm at a show, I might not be able to respond to you right away. You have 24 hour access to this. Our quick re reference guide, I always like to say to uh, bookmark this on your desktop so you have access to it because we update this frequently as timely as it needs to be. So if there's a special event in town, we will post the events, uh, a link to all the different special events that are surrounding that holiday or whatever it may be. Um, you also have a link to this Insider Tips that provides you with different topics on um, resorts with speakeasies or cocktail rooms with a view. We also have um, artistic wonders, so some of the immersive art experiences throughout Las Vegas, as well as unique hotels. So these are kind of, I can say, frequently asked questions. We came up with these, this resource to um, help provide you with some um, call to action items. So you know, if you're looking for hotels and shuttles or pet friendly hotels, those are just some of the other topics that we have that are released monthly on this. Once you sign up for our program, you do um, receive our Vegas Insider newsletter that comes out monthly with the latest updates for Las Vegas. So that's the way you can keep in touch with us, as well as our Facebook group. This is closed just for travel advisors, so you can ask questions amongst each other or share experiences. And we also um, share out if we have tickets to special events here in town or the latest um, and greatest that we want to post out to you. So. Thank you very much for taking time to join us. Uh, some of our partners, we have about 10 minutes left. You guys all did very well. Thank you for keeping up. Uh, we're going to answer any questions you may have. You can feel free to reach out. Since we have time, I mean, if you want to shout out a question, if I can hear you, I'll try to answer it or have our partners answer it for you. Yes, right in front. I know a Vegas room famous was festival, but I haven't heard anything. Yes, we have, we have multiple festivals that come through Las Vegas. So I think the next one, or the next large one, will be the Electric Daisy Carnival. Um, that's an outdoor festival out of the North Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Um, and then downtown has uh, uh, Life is Beautiful that comes once a year. There's also a reggae festival. There's so many others that come through town. We also, of course, have a ton of special events coming up. We just had the Australian rugby match. They had their season opener here in Las Vegas, the first time they've ever had it outside of um, Australia, out of the country, so that was really cool to see. We have our Australian friend back there. Woo. <laughs> um, but the Roosters here, right? That's the only team I know. Um, the, uh, so yes, multiple festivals throughout the year. Is that on the website too? Yes, on our website, visitlasvegas.com, that's our consumer site. We have, you can sort by special events, concerts, um, headlining, resident shows. You can just enter in the dates and find what you're looking for during that time period that you're going to be there. So very similar to the Commission of Vegas page where you can sort by category, um, you can do that on that site as well. Any other questions? Shout out. Hopefully we covered it all for you. But yeah, just know that we have the resources available for you. I know you took it in a lot from all the partners here um, at the Travel Agent Forum. So again, thank you for joining us and spending this extra hour with us. Have a good day. Hey guys, so I hope you understand about what did the video try to explain to you. Well, I was so really hyped about this opportunity because I've been looking for, you know, this opportunity to work with tourism and travel business. And everybody works to travel, so why we have to go around to actually fight, you know, to make money in order to travel. So when I come into this about January, the beginning of this year, I was so high because I've been spending my own money to go like hotel reviews and travel to do reviews, even food. It, it was a lot of money, but then also I have to like, you know, start from zero and didn't know anything. Um, so the reason I would like to share with you this because I was planning to leave California and move to Las Vegas. And I was really afraid because I've been living in LA or Los Angeles, um, California around almost three years or past three years now, it's seven to four years. Um, but then I, you know, most of my contacts, friends, I don't have much friends here, but at least I know people here. Um, and I was trying to move to Vegas. I like, was really afraid because I don't know. It's like if I can make money or, you know, how to survive in Los, um, in Nevada. And that got me really um, hesitate to move there. And I've been going there just to travel um, to see how's the opportunity. I was like, I don't know what can I do, you know, because 
I don't like most people. Like you, some people actually relocate for where they live、uh, because they get a job offer to move somewhere. But right now, I'm moving there to start my own business and you know to to do something by my own, which is self-employed. And I was like, don't know where to start. I wasn't sure if I can make money there.、Uh, but this opportunity or travel business helped me to reassure my myself and also. Everything in general, I can literally work anywhere right now. I can actually build a clientele before moving there, and when I get there, at least I know the city better. I stay closer to all the hotels industry and also different,、um, you know, businesses and entertainment in order to understand in a deeper perspective. I was just really happy at the same time and delighted to actually share with you guys this because it can help you to understand how. This give you financial independent and also like freedom to do anything you want, regardless of anywhere. You not only sell the destinations inside the U.S. or in the U.S., but also you know anywhere, anywhere in the world. As long as you learn, get trained, and also certify in、uh, specific destinations, which is maybe for instance, if you want to sell Italy, you know. You need to get training, qualify for the certifications, and they can actually, you know, fly you out there, give you fam trip, familiarizations for you to promote the business or even their country or city. But need you need to actually put in the qualification or application to show that okay, you have the ability to help them to boost the tourism. So that's the reason why, whenever you are right now anywhere in the world. As long as you can start this business, you pretty much can learn from whatever you have. And the low, the cost of startup is really low. It's like less than two hundred dollar, which is the the cheapest investment you can think of to even start to learn. And with different industry, like I said, it's like you have to do so much stuff,、um, and take a while for you to even take off. Everybody travels, so you're not gonna afraid of missing out or afraid not gonna sell anything because, you know, you help them to save time and then to book some destination that they never been. You have to be that expert in order to, you know, deliver a great. Destinations, or also based on your knowledge, to help them、um, reduce the time to do research, and also help them get a cheaper deals from suppliers and all of that. So that's the reason why I'm telling you this is really important for you to take this seriously. And if you want, if you want to start. Um, feel free to reach out to me on social media and also like my email on the descriptions.、Um, you can actually look at different videos that I've been sharing on my YouTube channel,、um, so you can understand what is the benefits, compliance, or、um, comprehensions, not comprehensions, but um,、uh, benefit packages from the the host agency. Uh, you not work for any company. They're not gonna pay you hourly, but this is your own、uh, business. If you want to start. But from one to two years, you need to learn from the host agency first to make mistake.、Um, not starting your own host agency because it's it's tough.、Uh, you need to learn, and whenever you're ready, after one or two years, you can actually can start your own、um, host agency to to sell more business if you want. But yeah, I hope that you understand and this help you to see. You can literally make any make money from anywhere, even at home, even anything, or just save money for your own travel, and you know help to boost the tourism, bring businesses in America in the next level. Because by bringing more tourists in the country, you build and help the businesses here grow. All right, I hope that you have. A good and wonderful holiday this weekend, which is Easter, and I will see you next time.